Hey Flight Sim fans, Richard here with Winged Flight Sim and in this short and sweet video we are going to show you how to fine tune your flight controls within X-Plane and it's coming up right after the intro. All right, we are back and like I said, in this video, we are gonna show you how to fine tune your flight controls within X-Plane. For this video, we're gonna use the nose wheel tiller, but you can fine tune any of your flight controls within X-Plane. Uh, the ailerons, the elevators, any of your flight controls can easily be fine tuned with X-Plane. So let's show you how to do it and let's get started. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go into your settings and you're gonna to go to the joystick tab and like I said, for this one, we're gonna use the nose wheel tiller, and I have the Cat3 design uh, A320 nose wheel tiller, uh, but you can pretty much use it for any aircraft. Um, let's go ahead and calibrate it. Okay, we are now calibrated. And then you're gonna go to add a response curve. That's your default response curve right there. Um, and I'm gonna show you in a minute how you're going to fine tune this and what happens with it. But first, we're going to just kind of show you the default. So the default, you're going to get an immediate response when you turn right or turn left. And it's going to be pretty much equal across the range of the nose wheel tiller. Let's go back and let's add a response curve. We're gonna do this really highly exaggerated. You can, on this curve too, you can add points by hitting option. So you can really add as many points as you want and you can adjust your response curve however you want. And you can slide your points too. So you don't have, they don't have to stay at the same place. Let's make this really heavy on the back end and really light on the front end. So what this is going to do is when you start turning your nose wheel tiller to the right or left, when you first start turning it, it's going to be really slow to respond. And then toward the end of your turn, it's, it's going to turn much more quickly. So let's show you this. So we're gonna turn our nose wheel tiller, and as I'm turning it, you're not getting much of a turn, and then as I get further along in the turn, it's gonna respond a lot quicker. Same thing going left. As you get further into the turn on the tiller, it responds a lot quicker. Now, let's kind of show you the opposite. We are going to add some points. And we are going to make this really heavy up front with the turn. And pull it down a little bit. Now, you can only pull it down so far based on the previous point. But this is going to give you a completely different feel. As soon as you start turning the nose wheel tiller to the right or left, it's going to start turning right away. Okay, and as soon as I start turning that nose wheel tiller, it starts going right. And as soon as I start turning that nose wheel tiller, it's starting to go left. So you can adjust this however you want, however you prefer the feel. I tend to like a little later response because I think that's probably a little more realistic um, on a large aircraft like this. Uh, like I said, you can, you can adjust your, you can fine tune all of your flight controls using the response curve in any of your flight controls. The side stick, so let's, so um, there's your pitch and your roll and 
for your pitch. You can add a response curve. There's the, the default there. Um, so you can you can add a response curve to basically any of your any of your flight controls, um, and it it'll give you a the exact feel you want, and it'll give you hopefully a more realistic feel. All right, that's pretty much it for this short tutorial video. Um, if you're new to the channel, thanks so much for checking us out. And if you're a subscriber already, thanks so much for supporting the channel. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and smash the bell so you don't miss a Wing It Flight Sim video. I'm Richard. Thanks so much for watching. Until the next one, we'll catch you on the flip side. We are out.